Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we have an update story on the F-150 oil consumption issue brought to us by Curtis Hawk, a subscriber, and he got a new engine at a Ford, and we're going to tell you how he did it coming up. channel we have thousands of people that are having oil consumption issues with their trucks everybody that has this issue i always ask them to update me if they have any success so we can share with you and it may help you get some success with when you're dealing with a big company like ford and the big thing that you need to have when you're going up against ford is data so what curtis hawk did he took his f-150 to a performance shop and asked them to provide a leak down test. So what a leak down test does, and it, which is different than a compression test. So what a leak down test does is measures the amount of compression being lost past the rings or the valves. It will isolate where your problems lie. And you need black and white data to provide to your dealership. Now they have to come back with their own data to disprove your findings. Curtis's leak down test showed that number two and number three cylinder were down by 25%. When they finally changed the engine, they told him that his cylinders went oval. So this is a connecting rod and cil cylinder. So what happens when that piston, when that cylinder wall gets oval, the piston rattles, and, and that's the rattling you're hearing in your engine. So that that's a good sign when you when you're hearing the engine rattle that your cylinder walls have gone oval. In 2018, Ford stopped using sleeves in their cylinders which exacerbated the problem because aluminum is much more wearable than a steel sleeve. So when Ford finally came back and Curtis asked what was the problem, because they recalled the block, it was a faulty block. Well, Ford already knew this problem. So they're just trying to sweep this under the rug for as long as possible. To get any results, because 2018, we're into three years, and Ford is just trying to get people out of their warranty at this point. Ford knows this engine as per their technical service bulletins, will just keep running with with the problems. So they're more than happy to just let you have their problems. You're at the end of the line. I can promise you Ford will do nothing for you. So you need to get some hard evidence. You need to get a shop to do a leak down test, get a sworn affidavit if you have to, and shove this down Ford's throat. So if Ford tells you that they're going to do a compression test, the way a compression test works is the engine just keeps winding over and it will build up. The gauge will build up. It doesn't fall back. So this test can be cheated just by dropping, putting a drop of oil down the cylinder before they do the compression test. Do not settle or accept the compression test because a compression test can be deceiving. I'd like to thank Curtis for sharing the information and allow me to share the information with you. My, my hat's off to Curtis. You got your new engine. And thanks for letting me share this with everybody else. So hopefully this helps you get a new engine for your truck. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. Until next time, folks. This guy...